Sports. We continue to follow breaking news in Portsmouth where a police car hit a house. It happened about an hour ago in the intersection of Jefferson and Effingham Streets. That's also where we find 10 on your side's Jason Marks right now. So Jason, what is the latest? Well, Alvita, I can tell you that uh, police have pulled the car from that home. It used to be wedged right there in the corner of that house. Now, let me set the scene for you before we show you what it looked like. Let me tell you what witnesses are saying happened. This is Effingham right here. Now, we're being told that the police officer was coming down Effingham, that south, headed towards George Washington. This is Jefferson Street. Now, what witnesses say happened is as that police car was coming down into this little intersection, a car was coming uh, from Jefferson, turning onto Effingham. Now, that police officer swerved to get out of the way of that car, and that's when he ran into the house. Now, let's show you video of what the aftermath looked like, and you can see that police car wedged into the home. Now, after that officer hit the house, he did get out of the car. Witnesses say uh, he was noticeably limping, but he was okay. He was able to get out on his own. Uh, we're told that once he got out of that house, he actually started a verbal argument uh, back and forth with someone who was in that car that he swerved to get out of the way from. The guy in the car was actually yelling the officer was speeding. Now, we did check the speed limit. It's only 35 here on this road. Of course, that will be all part of this ongoing police investigation. Now, we did learn that there was a woman who lived in that house. She, she died when she was 103. That was two years ago. So that house has been vacant ever since. So no injuries inside that home, only to that officer. He was taken to the hospital. Uh, we're told he's going to be okay. He was limping around noticeably, uh, but talking, and, and obviously he'll be okay. This investigation continues tonight. Of course, we're going to keep on top of this story. We'll have the latest for you right here on Wavy News 10. But for now, that's the latest here in Portsmouth. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.